The Wolfman has all the ingredients for a great werewolf movie. Well-cast actors, including Benedicio del Toro and Anthony Hopkins, a decent director in Joe Johnson, who brought us Jurassic Park 3, moody, gothic buildings and landscapes, and pretty good makeup and CG work on the beasts. Even with all that, this movie is just okay, and not a horror classic. The Wolfman reminded me a lot of another attempt to reimagine a Universal Studios classic character, Bram Stoker's Dracula, which was directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Like Dracula, Wolfman has imagination and style, but falls flat in many places. This two-hour film takes way too long to get rolling into the good stuff, and would have been much stronger if they took the scissors to the slow, ponderous, talky scenes and added on more of the Wolfman causing mayhem. The creature himself's got a pretty cool design and looks much like the Wolfman from the 1941 classic starring Lon Chaney Jr., only better. This is the way I prefer my werewolves looking, like an equal mix of wolf and man, not like some species of super wolf on mega steroids. There were some other pluses in this flick. The transformation scenes and the action in the asylum are both fun to watch, and Anthony Hopkins was interestingly quirky as the Wolfman's daddy. Emily Blunt is the female lead, but doesn't have much to do other than looking sad and doe-eyed. I didn't quite understand the attraction between her and Del Toro's character, who resembles a werewolf even when he's not in makeup, and mostly stands around looking somber. Unfortunately, The Wolfman is the kind of movie that ultimately disappoints you in the theater. It tries hard to earn your ten bucks, but falls short in the end. Wait until it comes out on DVD, or better yet, rent an American werewolf in London instead. It's much more fun and gory. I'm Keith Kelly.